Morning comrades, day seven I think. We're at Jordan River uh, campground. There is a mountain range over there. This is actually part of US. Uh, Port Renfrew is up north and there is that stretch over there. There is no land in the distance. So that's the open ocean over there. So yeah, I've deployed crab trap way over there overnight. Tide came in around 11, midnight. And in the morning, I saw nothing. There is nothing. Like uh, I walked around yesterday, no sea life. I don't know, just a few snails here and there. It's like nothing growing. Uh, I saw some seals today, so maybe like salmon comes into this river, Jordan River. But trap was nothing. He walked a third, went with him there. Eventually, he just kind of crawled on my knees, went into my hoodie inside, and started making a nest as he was returning. He's like, it's cold, I don't like this, screw you. I'm just gonna make a nest. And as he made the nest, and I kind of sat there, uh, and I know, like, <laughs> the thing is when he's making a nest, he tends to, like, whatever he is, scratch around. Like scratch walls, kind of like tucking himself in. So he was scratching my t-shirt under. It's like, oh, so sharp. And so yeah, deployed and uh, started like closing his eyes. I'm like, no, 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 dude, no. You're out here in the nature. You're not sleeping in my lap here. Like, let him go, I'm like, let go. And uh, yeah, he's sleeping in the canopy right now. So I had to close it before I leave for a little walk myself. Campground is nicely situated, right on the beach here. And it's very slippery here, so lots of seaweed, lots of it at the very end, but I still see no life. Pacific Rim National Park starts at Port Renfrew. Uh, from here it's about probably maybe now a 20 minute drive or something. And that's where Botanical Beach is, right down south of uh, Port Renfrew. So Cody is basically the guy who's been following me, I don't know, since, I'm actually gonna ask him, since which video he bumped into me or Facebook or whatever. But it feels like it's been almost two years and I think I've had my channel for almost three years now or maybe already for years. So, we, we, I don't know, we kind of just messaged in the background, in the messenger, here and there about stuff, track things, whatever trips. And uh, I like that crab trap I got because of him, he's also into like all these harvesting things and uh, uh, doing cray fishing on uh, Vancouver Island. So hopefully when we meet today, he can show me a few good spots on the map where I could possibly stop by. Just overall, on Vancouver Island, some uh, isolated places would be nice. So that's Cody. Yes, I am. <laughs> totally do don't recognize you from a uh, little icon photo you got going oh, on. Oh yeah. On, uh, hey, how you doing? Nice you. Oh, what's his this, name? This is my son, James. James. And uh, the second kid you got? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a uh, boy. Uh, it's a boy, Charlie. Uh, he's seven weeks old right now. Yeah. Today, actually. Surprised yeah, she actually sure. lets you go. Yeah, well, actually, she wanted me out of the house. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's your. Uh, hold on. Didn't you say you had a Ford? Nope. Nissan Titan. Huh. Yeah. See, not just Ram people follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm probably the only Nissan guy. Uh, yeah, usually it's like Rams or Fords. Yeah. Uh, so I guess steel bumper next, yeah? Uh, well, <laughs> probably a lift kit first. Do you, do you have a lift now? No, no, no it's stock height, but um, uh, if I bottom it out, the tire rubs up into the wheel well. So these mm. are larger than stock tires. I see. Yeah. And that's the canopy you were telling, right? Like the yeah. back window is missing or something? Yeah, the back window is missing out of it. Oh. So what? how is it glass? Like, I don't, this, that's, that's plastic. This part is glass, though. You can see here it's like shatter glass. Mm. It's um, like 
no, it's, it's, who in the right mind would make it out of this? I don't know, but it's curved too, so it's not just a straight piece. Yeah. To have a rooftop tent, basically, right? Because you can you can fit in a short bed. No, no, it's too. It's a five and a half foot bed, so my feet would stick out of solid right, six right, inches. Right, 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 yeah. But I you could do like that. Uh, what's this guy? Tacoma guy. You probably bumped into him uh, at uh, him on YouTube. He travels, uh, he made like a extension here, like tailgate always lowered. Yeah. There's like wooden extension here all the way, like. Yeah, well high. I have a, um, I have like one of those pop-up tents with the three walls on it that I figure I could slide over it. Mm. All right, gonna hang out. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool, the mist came in. And I just saw it creeping in. Looks awesome. I don't think camera does it justice. And the plan will be now go Port Renfrew, uh, go to Botanical Beach, have a little walk. He, he said it's worth actually going to that one compared to, let's say, French Beach. I tried and uh, after that there's going to be some crayfish attempts near the bridge kind of camp out. Well, camping for me, you'll have to leave uh, uh, with the kids later on today. I mean, like my truck's got a 2,200 pound payload capacity in it. That's 2,200 pounds. Yeah, but that's, that's more yourself. Than that's all your gear. Uh, yeah, but that's because it's a light truck, right? It doesn't yeah. have all that extra stuff. It's one of the. It's the lightest half-ton truck on the market. Mm. Like the actual uh, the curb weight of it. I see. So. We made it from San Juan de Fuca, uh, beginning of it, Jordan River. This is the so, stretch uh, of it. Uh, uh, just way down here to Port Renfrew and. Just uh, how uh, how big is a hike? I have no idea. I haven't done it in years. Well, roughly from what I remember, half an hour. Minutes. Oh, ten minutes. I think okay. it's only like ten minutes or something like yeah, that. So it's easy. Ten minute walk to that, and it says definitely worth it. And then we'll uh, I guess stay somewhere here by the river later. We're doing the whole loop, right? Probably. Yeah, but Bay is only one kilometer. All right. Washings are as usual. That. that. It's a nice beach, it's better than I expected actually, but I'm spoiled by travels and uh, I think in Oregon and actually in Bafa I've been like fancier beaches where you can see like the, the plates actually coming out like defined. What's cool about this beach is apparently this is a bunch of uh, quartz kind of layers, stripes coming through. Can you sit on the rock and I'll take a picture? A nice suit and a spear gun. Oh yeah. That's one thing on the list that uh, if I'm returning to Baja, again, not if, when. It's just a matter of time. Would love to chill there for like a year. I got a return of wetsuit. Come on. And a spear gun. And a little inflatable boat. So 
So back to the trucks. We're gonna go to a spot he knows. Ah, home sweet home. Missed you, buddy. On big trips, it's a weird feeling living in a truck even for just an hour. Yeah. It's not so much worrying about someone breaking in. It's just the fact of living in a truck for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a weird feeling. spot here by the river for sure a little river crossing a little action actually finally like first bit of off-road yeah on this trip <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a nice private I mean, little like, spot. Obviously the trail keeps going, but it's not a nice place to sit. Oh, you mean across the river? You kind of yeah. like just keep going? Yeah, yeah I like guess you could. Across here, you can kind of see where people. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. So there could be people, people camping over there. Do this. Is that? Oh, a little shrine thing. Yeah. That's kind Mom. of neat. <laughs> The road continues, right, like across here, it continues, goes all the way, you can see tracks. So, uh, let's see Tundra, ah, uh, Tundra, let's see Titan do its thing. Yeah, let's actually this thing across, of course, it's a shallowest point. Here, left from the wood, and we're gonna camp over there. I'm just gonna throw it on the roof, no nothing, just just kind of throw it uh, like uh, yeah, like so. There we go. Of course, the trap. Get out of my righteous trap. Let's uh, disperse some wood here. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Enough. Get there we go. Very quick fishing deployment on his part. I'm gonna I'm not gonna bother using crab trap for this, but I'll take my other uh, crayfish trap. Or maybe even two actually. And put some cat food in that. Got chicken refill. Thank you. You're welcome. You're not he's not having time supposedly to throw it. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Or I'm just too lazy to to set it all up. Uh, your your uh, crayfish trap, uh, can you throw cat food in there? Uh, yeah, it's just like it, you can, whatever will fit in here. Yeah, well, it's like pebble. pebble, pebble it pebble. fits those, uh, you know, the little ones that you can get the little cat food containers. Mm. Oh, I, I like, like dry fancy. pellets kind of thing. Oh, yeah, it's kind of, they're, they're big holes, right? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just gonna get fly through, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I put the rocks in the bottom to keep the bait off the bottom. That's funny, last time I was using it, all the, the whole bottom of the trap was covered in crayfish, but they weren't inside it. So as soon as you yeah. pull it up, they all just let go. And Noticed that away. too. And that's probably also both crabs and crates, how I got uh, holes in my uh, bottom. Pinching through it, yeah. yeah. Eventually. Yeah, Yeah. my dad's got one of those folding traps, ones that you, when you pull, they fold on themselves and trap the uh, crab inside of it mm. uh, for like pier fishing and stuff. And that bag is just a corner shreds by crabs. Mm. Um, just send me a message and maybe yeah. swing by before you before you head off the island. Yeah. Friday today? Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a full week. Full week, yeah. So you're 25% So through. probably a week and a half Vancouver Island and yeah. then another week and a half is kind of like slowly yeah. trending back. There used to be a 4x4 trail that went from uh, Powell River up 
up through the mountains and into Whistler. I don't know if it's still active. Or no, not. no, no, it's not active. No, but I know of a one that you. Yeah. Took I did it one. Yet. I did it years ago in my in my truck. It was a long freaking drive, a long day on the and trail. It was like probably what decade or at least two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Cheers, thanks yeah. for the step in by. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. You're now a superstar. I know, I'm looking forward <laughs> to the episode. Uh, which will be in like uh, half a year. A while, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A while. Nothing but occasional crow and water sound. That reminds me of a time in Oregon towards the end of the trip. It's like quietness. Except some guys came willing checking out the riverbed. Uh, yeah, it's for me, I guess. Uh, it'll be definitely fire today. I'm not sure if it's gonna be crawfishy. Um, but then again, it's hard to tell during daytime. They barely come out, especially uh, while at Jones Lake, even like where it's saturated here. Uh, it, Overnight is going to be visible if, if there is anything here at all. So for safety, uh, just you know to avoid smell on the roof, uh, so it doesn't the wave doesn't come in. Incidentally, because there is we were standing here, that wave from roof of rotten chicken, whew, yeah, it was coming in once in a while. So threw it in the river just. So bears don't smell it. Animals, it's just kind of like in the river bear, and that's it. For me as well. Uh, the weight, right, and uh, at the end of it, uh, just a hook with these balls, and essentially, and these are floaty balls. Essentially, weight goes in, and these things just kind of, you know, float around a little bit, kind of like foot trout sort of thing. I'll relocate from this spot. I want to go to camp at Port Renfrew uh, Sea Campground. See if I can sea fish, crab, whatever, that kind of stuff, gather some clams or whatever is in here, probably just mussels. Uh, but he did mention this area here is richer than uh, yesterday's uh, Jordan River area, which had nothing. Fishing rod deployed, no action of course. It's probably gonna be no action in this river, but whatever, something. 6.30, uh, it's gonna get dark in about an hour and a half. I got tons of wood. Like I was saying on long trips, I don't do campfires too often, just a uh, smell of clothing. But I've been sweating actually today, hiking botanical garden. So I'm gonna change shirt tomorrow. Um, may as well uh, get it all soaked in smoke and change it tomorrow. Tonight's dinner is gonna be bulgogi flavored mushroom sauce. There you go from Korean store, about six bucks a thing or five bucks. Really good stuff, oh, loving it. And the other one I didn't unpack uh, is bibimbap. Very awesome stuff, soybean paste, bibimbap. Water preheated, that's it. Well, you could think of this stuff uh, kind of like MRE, military uh, food, but except I think it's better. You know what, I'm actually curious. I need to buy a few MREs uh, and actually try it. Uh, there was one time I tried it in my life, uh, back when Soviet Union collapsed, and somewhere in mid 90s before we came to Canada, uh, one of US guys father used to work with during Soviet Union, being translator, oil companies, all that, uh, he came over to my island and brought uh, uh, just like souvenirs and like things, and one of them was like box of MRE stuff, uh, I don't know, maybe he was thinking like people are starving, we're starving or something like that, but regardless, it's something we didn't have in Russia. Uh, well, even Russian army didn't have a Marie's now. Russian army has their own, you know, special packaged food for military and all that. Uh, so it was interesting to try, but of course I was very little, I was like 10 maybe at that time, something like that. I, I don't remember the taste. So I checked the traps, there's nothing. Not even remotely, it's about 9 o'clock right now. Uh, fishing was no go here. Yeah, I'll relocate tomorrow to the sea. I'll get back to editing on that note. See you guys next episode.
Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it. So you can actually get my video updates, both in notification and your video feed. And as well, you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.